All right, so to overhaul the level list for armors and clothes in Fallout 4 in minutes, all you need to do is head over to Nexus and download my mod armor level list overhaul. There are two versions available. I'll explain those in a minute. Uh, I did provide a brief description here for people who uh, want to read and already are familiar with Fallout 4, uh, Fallout 4 Edit. But for people who need a more in-depth tutorial on a, like, you know, a visual representation of how to do something, that's what this is for. So you can go ahead and read this if you want to and the description of it. But essentially what this does is it's going to remove every instance of spawning of armor and clothing in the game. And it's going to provide a framework for you to replace them with the armors and uh, stuff you want from mods. It doesn't have to be an armor. It can be a, uh, a clothing, a watch, a backpack, a headpiece, you know, goggles, face cover. It doesn't really matter. It just has to go on the person and it'll work. So for the demonstrations, I'm going to be using Cross Pre-War Cybernetics. I will leave this in the video description uh, for anybody who wants to do this as I am. But pretty much we're going to add this to the level list. And I'm also going to, just to uh, show functionality, I'll also be adding this watch to the level list to every NPC, which will be uh, kind of interesting. So uh, I've already installed all of these, and I've installed the base plugin. So let me explain the differences between these two. So we have base and we have faction. It already shows a little description, but I'll do it anyway. So base will, it'll remove all of the instances of the armor and clothing for every NPC in the game. And it'll provide a framework for replacing them with mods, like I said before. But this will replace every MP NPC and add armor to every NPC. So it doesn't discriminate via faction um, or anything. It, if they're a person, uh, they're human race, that is, they will have the armor that you put into the categories. The faction one works a little bit differently because this doesn't touch normal NPCs at all. This only touches specific faction NPCs, such as the Minutemen, the Railroad, the Brotherhood, Brotherhood of Steel, and uh, whatever other faction I included. But uh, the armors will be segregated into these factions. So if you want to only put something on the Minutemen, you can do that. Uh, with the base one, you can't. So you have to kind of decide, you want more of a mix and mashup with uh, the base, or do you want specifically faction-based armors? And I'm going with base just for the instances of this tutorial, but they work the same way for uh, faction and base. It just requires a little bit of thinking whenever you're using uh, faction and base, depending upon how you want something to be done. So again, I'm using these two, so I already have them installed. Let's head over to Mod Organizer 2. You do not need Mod Organizer 2 to do this. You can do this with Vortex or Nexus Mod Manager. It doesn't really matter. But uh, let's get these installed i uh where i've installed them but i haven't where i've downloaded them but i haven't installed them so this is the watch mod this is the uh, base plugin and this is the cybernetics mod all right make sure to enable them so i did this on purpose so the armored levelless overhaul has to be loaded at the bottom no armor that you want to put into this mod can be below it or uh, loaded after it if you look at the priority of the mod load loader it is the last one so you're going to want to have it to be loaded uh after all of the other ones that's why i put those up here you can have them anywhere else doesn't really matter i'll put them way up here like that make sure you also go into plugins and you also change them because as you see i changed them here <clears throat> but it did not change them here it did not change the ESP versions, so you want to make sure that you do that as well, otherwise it won't work. Then you can go ahead and use XEdit and run. Now, as you can see, I have a, a shit ton of mods already installed. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial and just in generally using XEdit, I like to select none, and then I like to manually select the ones that I'm going to be editing, just so it looks a bit better. So I'm editing, obviously, this is the watch mod, this is cross cybernetics, and this is the overhaul mod. So I'm going to select and load those. <clears throat> Let's give this a second to load. All right, so let's um, take a look into the overhaul mod first. So if you click on it and click the little expand, you have leveled item and outfits. Uh, you don't need to mess with outfits unless you want to get into specifics and edit this mod to your liking. But uh, if you don't know how to use Fallout 4 Edit or X Edit, whatever you want to call it, then you probably don't want to touch outfits. 
but we're just going to stick for leveled items. So you scroll all the way down and you see these categories. Now, some of these categories do very specific things and they're all pretty easy to understand. Let's just start by clicking on one of them and see what we see. So if you guys are familiar with the um, weapon levelist overhaul mod made by Marion, then you probably understand what this, uh, this screen looks like and you probably understand how to use it. You have a levelless entry and it is referenced by a specific number of items that spawn in the game. And you can add things to this editor ID, like an armor, and they will appear in game if it's referenced by this category. So these categories all work a little differently. So um, we're more than likely not going to, in either of you, you're not going to use these four categories here. I have them here specifically for the um, <clears throat> people who want to add armors that are particular for each arm, but most people won't add, add anything to these. You will stick to torso, headgear, and underclothing, and outfits. But we obviously have a, a watch mod today, so we'll be installing that. So. That's just a brief overview of how the uh, categories work. So how it essentially works is the torso. Any uh, base level NPC that spawns in the game that has a possibility chance of spawning with a torso will instead will spawn with nothing. And they will only spawn with whatever is in this torso category here. So if they ha were going to spawn with a combat armor chest piece, they will, instead of spawning with that combat armor chest piece, they will spawn with whatever you put right here. And if you want to add more, you can just click add. Confirm that warning and boom. Make sure to change the level to one and the count to one and the chance keep it at zero. And that will add multiple entries. So that would make it to where you can have like a hundred different headgears added into the game, but they will uh, have a chance to spawn each of them. And I'll get into more in-depth detail about how that works in a minute. But let's start by adding our, uh, our armors. Or actually, let's do it with the watch first. So this is the watch mod. We uh, open this uh, armor mod and click on the armor tab and nothing else is important in here. So click on armor and you see two watches. This is going to be very common when you're uh, playing with uh, armor mods and clothes mods. They will have multiple of the same thing or they will have multiples of very specific different variants. It's not a big deal. Just choose one. I don't think in this mod in particular, I don't think it matters, but we're going to go with the tactical one because that sounds cool. Now, there are two ways to do this. You can click on them and click Control C to copy the editor ID, or you can click on it and then right click and, or sorry, the form ID, and you can click Change Form ID, and it'll pop up this, and you can click Control C, or you can right click and copy, and then close that. Now, I have the form ID for this watch, and it's very easy. You just go straight to my, my mod, click on Leveled List, Leveled Items, I mean, scroll down. Go to the watch category right here where it says the leveled list entry sorted this little reference right here and this is where you you click on it right click and click edit and then just control v or paste and okay so that's actually a very good example of how most people are going to fail using this mod so i'm very glad that i actually just um saw that warning because what I did here, what I did wrong here, was I forgot to add my mods as masters. So you want to click on my overhaul. So whenever you download an armor mod, you need to add it as a master to the um, mod you're adding the item to. So I'm going to be adding the watch and the cybernetics to this overhaul mod. So you want to add it as masters. To do that, you click on it, right click, and then you see this add masters category here. Click on that and it'll only show up the mods that can be or have not been added to masters yet. We're going to add both of those. Wait for that to finish. Oh, it's done. Okay. So now that you finally have it added as a masters, you can come back down here, click on watches and edit control V or paste. And now it's done. So as you can see, it automatically filled out the, um, tactical variant of the watch so now every NPC, npc in the game that is referenced by anything here they will have a chance or they, they will not have a chance they will have a guarantee to spawn with a watch you can change that by editing the chance here or adding multiple watches to this um leveled list entry here so let's say for example i have the uh watch right here tactical and i were to take the other watch click on right click and add edit that, 
and I would make this the non-tactical variant. So let's pretend that this is the non-tactical variant, and that's the tactical variant. Make sure to change the level to 1 and the count to 1. Now, uh, that doesn't mean both of these um, watches will spawn 100% on every uh, NPC in the game. That means that this, this watch right here has a 50% chance to spawn if a watch is present on an NPC, and this watch has a 50% chance to spawn if a watch is present on an NPC. And uh, that means that you can add as many watches as you want. If you have a thousand watches here, then that means this watch would have a one percent, or sorry, it would have a, a 0.1 percent chance of spawning, and so on and so forth. So that's how that would work. And if you have two here, and you have one different, it'll make it to where these have whatever uh, divided of count percentage chance of spawning. So if you have uh, two tacticals here and one non-tactical, that means the tactical will have a 60. 6% uh, chance of spawning, and the non-tactical variant would have a 33 point etc. chance of spawning. Alright, so let's, uh, we're done with this. Uh, we're done with the watch mod, and now let's add the cybernetics. So again, you just go uh, into the mod, click armor, and you see a bunch of armors. So you see how this specifically references the left arm. This is why I, I made those left arm and right arm and stuff like that categories, because there will be mods like this that reference specific parts of the body that you're going to want to edit. Uh, this edits the belt. Um, we'll explain of how you would handle that in a minute. So if you're ever curious on whether something is or is not going to work, uh, if you just click on an item, you can see exactly where it will go on the body. So this is a uh, left arm. Um, that A is, um, I don't know what it, the A stands for, but it stands for over. Um, that means that there is under armor in this game, and there is over armor. Over armor is what goes um, over your clothing. And clothing is something like a road leather in the base game. And uh, combat left arm would be an over armor in the base game. So you got to kind of keep that in mind when you're editing this. It's not typically a big deal. It's most of the time it's self-explanatory and it's generally a universal system, but sometimes you will have issues where this left arm might have a mod slot that edits the hair top two, and that could lead to a conflict. So keep that in mind, but this is uh, pretty straightforward. That is the left arm. That is a arm. Uh, that is the right hand, left hand. See, I'm not sure why it references two the same, but I think that might be because these are gloves. Yes, uh, so you see how it says arm frame hands? That means these are practically gloves. That's why they reference the left hand and the right hand, but that's, a get, that's okay uh, because these don't reference the same things. So you can add them. So let's get these added real quick. So uh, this says torso, so it edits the torso. So we're going to add this first. And again, to edit it, you just control C or you can right click change form ID, and copy that form ID. And then you just go back to my mod, leveled item, scroll down, find the torso, because it is a torso, it is referenced as a torso, edit this, and add it as a torso. And it took the reference uh, armor from there and added it here. And remember to change these to one. Um, and you don't need this other reference, so we're going to remove that. Don't click sorted remove, just click leveled list entry remove, and it will only remove that one entry that we don't need. And we're going to add the rest of these. So what is this? This is the arm left. So let's grab that arm left and let's put that right here, which is the left arm. We're going to add that. What about this? This is the right arm. This is the torso. We've already added that. Uh, this is the hands. We will add the hands. So um, you might be confused because I don't have a hand category here. Um, the hands are just gloves. So anything that references a hand would be a glove. And then you have the arm. Legs. Okay, so it references both legs. Um, so something that references the both legs is a is a little tricky to handle. Um, that would mean that you can put it in either of these leg categories, but you should only, or yeah, either of these right leg or left leg, but you shouldn't add something additionally to them. Otherwise, that could produce conflicts. So you would take this 
the legs because they are both legs and you would add them to one of them only. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, left leg, right leg, this one right here. And we will control C that and we will add it to the left leg and that should work just fine. Torso's done, the belt. So this is another instance of something that can be a little tricky to understand or handle. Um, I don't have a belt category here and that's only because there is really not that many belts as a mod. You can easily just add this as a category and it would take you like 20 seconds. I'm not gonna show you how to do that here. Um, maybe in another tutorial I will show you more advanced, but most mods in the, in the Nexus do not use belts. So uh, I'm not going to make a belt category. What you can do instead, let's say you have a belt uh, mod or a reference that's uh, unusual. What you could do is you could just put it into another category. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, you do not want to, for example, let's say that you have a belt here and you added another item here by clicking that and you were to change this to a backpack, it would either spawn a backpack or it would spawn this belt. So that could produce some conflicts. So um, make sure you kind of understand how you are doing it for your load order. Um, but for me, the how I'm doing it now, this is just fine. So the belt and all these, and the same thing for these exos that are um, referencing specific mod slots that um, I don't have a category for. The same rule applies. You can simply just add these into a category that currently have nothing and they will spawn just fine. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I have a glove, I have a watch, two watches actually, backpack, face. I missed an underclothing, so let's go ahead and add an underclothing right there, and it'll be the legs. All right, so now we have everything added into our level list, so now all you need to do is save and quit. It's uh, seriously that just that easy. That's all you have to do. You just click X, it'll save this plugin, and you're done. So now what's left to do is to test in game. So I will do that real quick. So what should happen is any NPC that has a record referenced by any of those categories will spawn that item in that category at a 100% chance. You can alter that chance if you want to, uh, but that's just how I set it up in the base plugin. And uh, again, this works virtually the same way with the uh, between the, the base and the faction. The only difference between the faction is the category naming and how the categories uh, reference the, the parts of the body. So the base plugin references specific portions of the body, and the faction level list references particular groups of NPCs. So they kind of work a little bit differently, but it's generally the same concept. Uh, as you saw, um, Nora in the background already Whoa, had the um, modded armor. So you can see uh, she actually has the modded armor on. Absolutely. And because that, and because Nora only spawns with underclothing, she only spawned with a single piece of the mod that I put in. And that's kind of how that works. That's a good visual representation right there. Let me, uh, I have a mod that speeds this up, so let me get into the game real quick. And then we'll just do a walk around the map very shortly and show you that every NPC will be spawning exclusively with the mod I put in. The reason why your character doesn't spawn in with this is because um, I couldn't find the record for it. So, uh, I think I might have deleted that record, but that's not a big deal. All right. It's a modded weapon. All right, so let's uh, head over to Concord and uh, see what people are wearing. They should be wearing virtually nothing. They should have nothing but cross cybernetics or watches on them. And as you can see, they do in fact have nothing but the cross cybernetics on them. And uh, some of them might have a watch, depending upon if you look close enough. Yeah, you see, she had a watch. Marcy, Marcy had a watch. If you could, uh, hey, trade with me. No, tr trade with me, please. Okay, well, that's not going to work. What about you? Uh, you might have a watch. I'd like to trade some items. There we go. So he spawned with everything he was supposed to. He spawned with the watch. 
Uh, he also spawned with uh, some of the torso pieces. And that is the same um, with much. every other NPC in the game. So it uh, really is just that easy. Just and as you can see, there. I now have the uh, the watch. Let me go into third person and put away my weapon. You can just barely see it because it's actually clipping. Let me uh, strip real quick. There is the watch. And all NPCs will wear them if they uh, spawn with them. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Any questions, just put them down in the comments below. I will leave a link to the mods that I used in the video in the description. And uh, make sure to check out the mod. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching.